Patience today is given by Stephen Olson from West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, Stephen's a vice president of an insur insurance industry and is a wonderful leader. And he wants me to talk for a moment about patience and how that is involved in a leader's life. Because we think of a leader being out front and we think of a leader as paving the way and a leader is taking initiative. Now, how does patience work in a leadership realm? Well, this is very simple. What I discovered many years ago is that leaders never cross the finish line first. They just don't. And there's a reason for that. It's not because they're not fast. It's not because they couldn't win the race. They choose not to win the race alone. Did you hear what I say? They choose not to win the race alone. When they cross the finish line, they're going to have somebody with them. And if you have somebody with you, you have to wait on them. And that's where patience is a vital ingredient to a leader. Patience allows us to slow our pace so that when we cross the finish line, we're not the only one that is successful. We are helping others be successful also. What a tremendous quality of a leader. I would rather cross the finish line with someone and not be first, than to be first and cross it alone. Because if you cross it alone, think about it, you have no one to celebrate your victory with.